welcome to another travel vlog featuring me, I'm Eden, and this is my boyfriend Nick. He's driving. So we are going from Baltimore all the way to Rhode Island. So we are making a pit stop in New Haven, Connecticut. So we're gonna tour like downtown New Haven. It's where Yale University is. It's a Ivy League university, so it's very like old, one of the oldest colleges in America. So it's going to Rhode Island. We're staying in Providence for one night, and then we're literally coming back home tomorrow night. So just a quick little weekend getaway, um, cause New England, the fall, the trees, like the colors are just really pretty. So that's why I wanted to see it in person myself. Basically we just ate at that Prime Grill or Prime 19 place. We had some really good burgers, but one is a place called Coffee. If you watch the Gilmore Girls, based in New here in New Haven, Connecticut. And when you look up things to do in New Haven, it's basically all Yale. And there is like a downtown New Haven, but I don't know, it's not like you're sightseeing. It's not like you're in New York or something, or Washington, even like DC. It's kind of just like looking around and seeing how pretty things are, which it is really beautiful. like the best ice cream in Connecticut and it, they're right. I think they have another location in Litchfield which is another place I wanted to go in Connecticut for like fall foliage. They scream fall but here we are in New Haven because we're on the way to Providence is our next location. We are heading back to the car and then we're gonna have a one and a half we're gonna have a one and a half hour drive to our hotel in downtown Providence. It's so good. Oh my goodness. So this is our hotel. We just have this kind of sliding door and it comes into a bathroom. I would hope that a hotel room has a bathroom. 
I had already set up my little vanity or my little set and then just go into the toilet and the stand up shower, which is nice. And a little closet I can hang up. My nice shirt that I was gonna wear to dinner. And we automatically got upgraded to the executive king suite on the highest floor. So <laughs> that's kind of lit. We've had a long day of basically travel. We stopped in New Haven, Connecticut. Finally made it to Rhode Island. I just love how like simple and clean the room looks. I always bring a silk or like, I usually bring my like satin, my cheaper pillowcase with me to travel because I hate hotel pillowcases. They're always like super scratchy. I mean, I don't know, like it's nice to like sleep in a hotel and like I love the bedding, but I just, I always leave the silk pillowcase or satin. And even on vacation, I bring my five minute journal in the morning and at nighttime, I like to journal and I have water by my bed. And then I've already like kind of unpacked all of my outfits. So this is my baby, my brand new Tory Burch bag that I got. These are blue light glasses. So they just help when I have my contacts in and I'm on my phone a lot. And then room key and the shoes I wore today, which are from Zara. And then I kind of packed out what I'm wearing tomorrow. I don't really know how cold it's going to be here. So this is like a cashmere turtleneck from J. Crew. Um, it's, it's really soft and I have these dark wash jeans from Madewell and then I have over the knee boots I'm gonna wear and I love this chain that I got from Amazon it's like old lady reading glasses but it just helps have my mask hang on my neck without having to like take it on and off and then I didn't know if I'm gonna accessorize this outfit with a cheetah print headband I just bought that my bra I brought these like green croc heels. I'll show you the top that I'm gonna wear with that. I have it hanging in the closet. And then I have my long chomp bag and like literally everything fit in this because this is the bigger one because normally I carry this for school with my laptop in it. Then I've got this beautiful set from Maritzia. It's very like preppy. It might be a little too dressy, but I just thought it'd be really cute. This little pearl headband and I did my nails last night. So I just thought it'd be really cute with those black heels. home from Los Andes. It's a Peruvian restaurant here in Providence. It was recommended as like a must go to and it definitely was bomb if you saw the video of it. And they had the cutest little fishes. Rhode Island is really cute if you can see in the distance. Oh it's so pretty. And this is the State Capitol. Insane. 
and it came with a side of rice and vegetables, which is actually kimchi, which is what Nick wanted. And then Nick got the fried chicken, and he got the soy garlic, and he got a small chipotle. And then all of a sudden, I saw this Korean fried chicken place, and I was like, oh my god, that sounds really good. And then Nick was like, yeah, let's just go in and see the menu, and it ended up being really good. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. This is back on like Brown's campus, kind of. And it's just really stunning. Like, I would be so lucky to go to school here. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. Die with my own doubt. Be free with me. Basically, the mission today was to have the perfect picnic, yes. and I think we freaking killed it. Yeah, just just wait. Until just, it's done. just wait. <laughs> just wait. Okay, so we gotta give uh, our story for the day. So you met me earlier, yes, and then we went to Harris Teeter, mm. and it was very. Oh, you had to tell them that the place was closed. <laughs> yeah. So. We were planning this picnic. We were gonna go to this place called Bear Day in Canton, Baltimore, and they like sell charcuterie boards like already done, so you can take them to go. And it was like 32 bucks. So I was like, okay, let's just go do that. Looked up the directions, turned out they don't open till five o'clock. It was only one at this yeah. point. They probably would open by now. It was like but five. Still, yeah, yeah. We, we it took a lot to get all this together. And then we went to Harris Teeter instead because we were like, okay, they have a deli, they have night, they're like a bougie grocery store, they'll have mm -hmm. like what we need. So then we were like, okay, let's buy blocks of cheeses. Yeah. And then we saw the price. They were like $10 we were like, per no. month. <laughs> yeah. And then we were like, okay, meat. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> first, first coming in there, we were getting fruit and we were like, oh, we can't find the grapes. Yeah. We're like, where are they? Where are they? they? Like right in front, right of, in front of us. Right Exactly. Then we got a whole thing, you know, trying grapes, making sure which ones were sweet. Then we got strawberries. Yes. And I'll show you like everything that we bought. It ended up all costing like, like 40 $42. Yeah, 42 yeah. bucks for everything. And I think it was pretty good considering like we got more than what the place would have given mm -hmm. us. Plus I already had drinks and like pita chips and we got naan bread yes. and like fresh pepperoni from the deli and then we saw like pre-sold little boards. We, we were like, oh shoot. We like, didn't get that. Yeah, we didn't get this and they're good. yeah, and they were only twelve bucks, but then they had like a bunch of like some stuff that we could have done without, like uh the raisin. Dried fruit. Yeah, dried fruit. Apricots. Yeah. And then we started finding like less expensive cheeses like already cut yeah so we were like okay we were in the store for like a good a, hour a good hour like, i didn't even think we were there for that long exactly we were definitely like little grown, mature grown-ups going grocery shopping mm -hmm. we like looked up like what to put we just looked up charcuterie board and it basically is just you slap together deli meat cheeses brew and crackers or like some kind of bread so that's what we did i feel like we need to start taking pictures before my hair frizzes up yeah <laughs> All right, so let's just get on into a wooden board and straw tote from Target. It's from Safeway, and that is from Trader Joe's. Yes, thank you for modeling. And I even brought flowers from Safeway. Now for the 
main event, all the food. So our goal is we need to eat all this up so we have less to carry when we go back down. We went all the way down this like hill. And I love this area. I, our, it's like you're not even in Baltimore. You're in Mount Vernon. And then here's a fountain behind us. I kind of wish it was like a little bit later October so the leaves would have been like even more yeah. orangey. But you can still tell where they've like fallen and it's just very majestic. 